a very good morning to all in this class we will be dealing with abdominal wall defects so nammude abdominal wall proper aayittu develop edilengil endha undavva abdominal lulla contents okke velilekke herniate cheyum alle so angane rendu condition aanu innu nammal kaanan povunnathu which is omphalo seal and gastro cystis so peru kandu pedikkanda idu endha nu namukku valiye kaanam so the conditions are omphalo seal and gastro cystis abdominal wall defects they occur in about 1 in 5000 live births here the herniation of intestine and liver that occurs in about 1 in 10000 live births so it is common aanu nammude abdominal wall defects in overall incidence is 1 in 5000 live births and herniation of intestine and liver occurs in about 1 in 10000 live births the male to female ratio is 1 is 1.5 is to 1 so it is more common in males than females the ratio is 1.5 is to 1 and if you compare omphalo seal and gastro cystis gastro cystis is more common than omphalo seal now let's see what is omphalo seal omphalo seal is an anterior midline defect of the abdominal wall through which various viscera herniate into an avascular membranous hernia sac so omphalo seal ennu parayunnathu or anterior midline defect aanu of the abdominal wall app abdominal wall properly formed avilla as the abdominal wall is not properly formed all the viscera of the abdominal cavity can herniate into a avascular membranous sac so nammude intestinal contents allengil abdominal contents or sac inde ullilekke herniate eena condition aanu omphalo seal so ee padathil nokkittundengil da ivide sac onnu illa idu gastro cystis aanu here you can see the contents are herniated into a sac and this is exactly what do you mean by omphalo seal so omphalo seal nu parna enda idu anterior midline defect aanu of the abdominal wall here the abdominal wall is not formed properly due to which the abdominal viscera may herniate into an avascular membranous sac the defect occurs at the point where the umbilical cord connects to the abdomen so id undavunnathu nammude umbilicus abdominumayitte connect cheyina a central ninnana ee oru herniation undavunnathu again if you look at the picture it is very clear and evident if the umbilical cord join cheyina a oru portion allengil a exactly midline laana ee oru herniation sambhavichirikkunnathu so here the herniation occurs at the point where the umbilical cord connects to the abdomen so hope you are clear what do you mean by omphalo seal it is an anterior midline defect of the abdominal wall through which the various viscera of the abdomen may herniate into an avascular membranous herniaal sac the defect it occurs at the point where the umbilical cord connects to the abdomen omphalo seal the defect may range between 1 cm to great less than 4 cm in diameter so itreyana id the overall diameter of the defect that is 1 cm to less than 4 cm in diameter the smaller the defect the better is the prognosis so etreyum kunnidana omphalo seal atreyum kootile kuttide സർവൈവൽ റേറ്റ് കൂടുതലാണ് സോ ഓവറോൾ ഡയമീറ്റർ ഇസ് വൺ ടു ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ ഫോർ സെൻറ്റിമീറ്റർ ദ ഹെർനിയേറ്റഡ് കണ്ടൻസ് മേ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ദ ഇൻഡസ്റ്റൈൻ ദ ലിവർ ഓ സ്പ്ലീൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കവേർഡ് ബൈ എ വാസ്കുലർ മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ എന്ന് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞു 
So this sac is made up of parietal peritoneum and amnion which can rupture. So our sac is permanent and it is not a rupture. Vera. So the diameter is 1 cm to greater than 4 cm. How many defect in the size of the defect in the survival rate? Usually, herinate in the contents in the parnitan angle, it is liver and intestine, and uh, it may also contain spleen. E herinated contents or sac like another, it is avascular, it is made up of parietal peritoneum and amnion. Amnion or in the umbilical cord and dark in our substance, but it can rupture very easily. Omphaloseal can be of two types which is upper midline syndrome and lower midline syndrome. So first let's see what is upper midline syndrome. It is situated more towards the upper region from the midline. So omphaloseal above the amplicus is known as an upper midline syndrome. It includes other defects involving the diaphragm, the sternum and the heart. So, amplicus in the merlil eye located eye to la or omphaloseal aana, upper midline syndrome. Merlil the portion la or la diaphragm, sternum, heart. Idhini okay idhu, uh, idhu maita associated eye to la defects in idhini oppam kandanna vera. So, upper midline syndrome, here the omphaloseal is located above the amplicus it may include other defects which may have uh, diaphragm the sternum as well as the heart in the other opposite are lower midline syndrome omphaloseal below the amplicus is known as a lower midline syndrome it includes the defects in the lower portion of the body that is the bladder the rectum and the lower spinal cord so, perine then a valare evident ana upper midline no arambo amplicus in a merl lighter upper out amplicus in a merl older southern lay okay arikim in the associated itula defects in dawa which is the diaphragm, the sternum, and the heart. Lower midline syndrome no arambo amplicus in a thari itana yuru defect to locate another. If I abdomen number the body the thari the portion lola organs in a lingual system in a arikim in the affect here which is the bladder, the lactose. Uh, the rectum as well as the spinal cord that was in brief about omphalocene now let's see what is gastrocecious gastrocecious is an is a congenital defect characterized by a fissure in the abdominal wall to the right of the amplicus through which the abdominal contents herniate so, we will tell you the omphalocele is the amplicus joint chain portion of the abdominal wall defect. We will tell you the abdominal contents of the sac is the omphalocele. This is not the amplicus in the portion of the defect. Here, the abdominal wall is properly closed. That is why we have a abdominal wall and a fissure in the abdominal wall. The abdominal contents are herniated outside. If you cover the sac, the abdominal contents are not the same. And usually it is located to the right of the amplicus. That is the amplicus in the right side is not the same. The defect is located on the left of the amplicus. So gastrocecious, it is a congenital defect. It is characterized by a fissure in the abdominal wall to the right of the amplicus through which the abdominal condens may herniate. So, you can see a clear right to the the abdominal wall is a fissure in the abdominal wall. That is exposed to the environment. If you cover the sac, uh, fully exposed uh, to the environment and there are higher chances of infection in this case. Gastrocecious, the word means belly cleft in, in Greek. 
So, we have a belly, a little cleft, a little fish, and a condition. 